Who just passed me in the hole? Jesus. He won't leave. He just said that he wanted to take a shower and that he'd be right back. In a really annoying, like, sickly sweet voice. Well, what I saw, I wouldn't kick him out of bed for eating crisps. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do know what you mean. I think the cat knows what you mean. Well, what's the problem anyway? Sure you're the one who brought him home. Oh, yeah, I know, but... I've also been dropping hints at him for the past three hours to get him to leave and he's not gotten any of those hints. I said that I needed to go and he offered to come with me. I even said that my mum's coming over to see me and he said he'd wait and meet her. Oh, I see. An absolute nut job. Mm. We're in trouble, so. Please, can you help me get him to leave? I could shout and bang on the bathroom door and pretend that I'm the disgruntled lover. Actually, no, that won't work. No, why? That sounds good. Yeah, but when I passed him in the hall, I asked him if he had brought him home and then cheered and high-fived him. <laughs> so it might seem weird if we go into him now and try and beat him up after high-fiving him. Why do I always attract the weirdos? At least this one didn't ask you to... Oh, do not even finish that sentence. Make him call you... Oh, stop! Oh, God. I, I'm going to have to think of something quickly because he's not going to be in there much longer. Will we pretend the house is burning down? How? There's no fire? I can pull the alarm. What, and set the sprinklers off for every apartment in this building? No. Well, if you can think of something better than be my guest, but I'm fairly sure I just heard the shower stop and he made a big, jolly, over-the-top sigh. Oh. Well, hell, no. Pull the alarm. <laughs>